Hello and welcome back to Lake Orion Sports Update. I'm your host, Joey Tysick, and today we will be looking at the start of the winter sports season. Will the Dragons be ready for another tough winter schedule? We have highlights from girls and boys basketball, hockey, and more coming up next. The varsity hockey team always gets going a bit earlier than some of the other sports as they typically begin with an exhibition game as well as a few non-conference games. This hockey team has a good mix of juniors and seniors as well as a couple sophomores. But if we have learned anything from this Dragons team, it's that Coach Krefsky will have them contending for a third consecutive OAA title by the end of the season and will look to make a run in the postseason. Lake Orion started off their 2021-2022 campaign hosting the Canton Chiefs on November 18th who are a part of the KLAA, one of the state's best leagues. The Dragons battled tough in this one as both teams would go back and forth throughout. Canton was able to get on the board first with a goal from senior Joel Bonovic, nine and a half minutes into the opening period. No goals were scored from then until 14 minutes into the second period when Lake Orion's Gunnar Fornwall knocked one in, tying up the score. As the second was winding down, Lake Orion again would find the net as Sam Haynes would light up the scoreboard with 21 seconds left in the period giving Lake Orion the lead. However, the Dragons would only hold the lead for 41 seconds, as Daniel Fletcher would tie for the score for the Chiefs. Then, just five minutes later, the Chiefs would score again and take the lead after a Tyler Husted goal. As we said earlier though, the Dragons were not willing to throw in the towel. With four minutes left in the game, the Dragons would rally to tie it back up off a Ryan Smith goal. Both teams had opportunities to score late, but the game would end up going into overtime. Unfortunately for the Dragons, Canton would get another goal from Husted just 50 seconds into overtime, giving the Chiefs the 4-3 victory. Just a couple days later, the Dragons would play host once again, this time to Marquette, who is a very tough opponent. This one just got away from the Dragons quickly, and they would go on to lose 2-7. On November 27th, the Dragons would play Bloomfield Hills at Detroit Skating Club and get their first familiar face. As the Blackhawks are atop of the OAA White Division, and the Dragons are in the OAA red. The Dragons looked good in this one and were able to hold the Blackhawks just to one goal off some strong defensive play, winning the game 3-1. On December 4th, the Dragons would face off against Crosstown rival in the Clarkson Wolves at DSC. This game was the first since the tragic shooting in Oxford, and so both teams wore some bit of blue to support the other nearby community. Since both teams play at DSC, there really isn't much of a home field advantage. Both of these teams are always ready to play in this rivalry, and the game did not disappoint. It was another back-and-forth affair, while both teams duked it out. Neither team was able to get much of a lead, and in the end, the Dragons were able to secure the win 6-5 in another LO vs. Clarkston Classic. On December 10th, the Dragons would travel to Saginaw Bay Ice Arena for a game against the FNV Griffins. This would be another close game throughout, and would even be pushed to overtime. But once again, the Dragons were able to fight and get the win. Five to four. The following day, December 11th, the Dragons would face another OAA white opponent in Troy United at the Troy Sports Center. As it was with Bloomfield Hills, the Dragons were able to show a little dominance in this one as they would be able to win the game 6-3. On December 16th, the Dragons faced off against an OAA red opponent, Birmingham Unified, at Detroit Skating Club. This was another big matchup for the Dragons and would really give some insight to where the Dragons stand in the red. Unified would get on the board first in the opening period with four minutes left. The Dragons were able to get some shots on goal, yet Unified's goalie would not allow anything to get past him. Then again, with about four and a half minutes in the second period, Birmingham would find the back of the net once again to take a 2-0 lead. Throughout the rest of the game, the Dragons would continue to try and put some shots on net, but nothing connected. Unified's goaltending was incredible all night, and the third period went scoreless, leading to the Birmingham win to zero. And finally, on December 18th, the Dragons would face Midland Dow in the last game before the holiday break. This would be played at DSC, so the Dragons would have a home game to finish out 2021. Lake Orion would be able to take care of business in this one. In another close match, the Dragons would win with the final score 2-1. to one. 
The Dragons now sit at 5-3 and three on the season with a 1-1 one one record in the OAA Red. We will update you in a few weeks about how the team starts off 2022. The Lake Orion boys basketball team is looking to have another solid season as there is a group of players on this team that have been playing together for quite some time, and we're looking to take the next step this season. Seniors Malachi Granberry and Alden Ritt are two to watch out for this season with many other key contributor contributors right behind them. This team should show depth and grit going forward. They started their season at home on December 7th against Lutheran Northwest. This game would be close throughout as during the first half, no one could get away from one another. After the first quarter, the game was tied and then heading into the half, the Dragons were able to get a nice seven point lead to feel a little more comfortable. Coming out of half, the Dragons were ready to put the game away as the Dragons extended their lead to 20 points and that would allow them to cruise to the victory over the Crusaders, 64 to 39. On December 10th, the Dragons would have to travel to the rival Clarkston Wolves. Clarkston is always a fun matchup for Lake Orient as it tends to bring out the best in the Dragons, and it allows them to see where they are at this, on the season. Unfortunately, the Dragons just weren't quite ready for the Wolves as they would fall behind early and not ever really be able to get their footing back in the game, losing 44 to 65. December 14th, Lake Orient would be on the road once again as they would head to Rochester. The Dragons would battle in this one, but somewhat ran out of gas in the second half and fall to the Falcons, 39 to 53. The Dragons would then face Troy, Troy Athens at home on December 17th, and once again find themselves in a tough OAA match. The two teams would battle all night with neither team really pulling ahead of the other, and however, the Dragons would come up just short and fall to the Red Hawks, 36 to 44. The following day, the Dragons would play Bridgeport for an away game, and they would be able to bounce back from their three-game losing streak beating them 41 to 34. The boys team has one more game before the holiday break on the road against Notre Dame prep. The Dragons record sits at two and three and they have plenty of season to go. So I can only expect this team to ramp up as they head into 2022 and continue to get better as this team has some high expectations. The lady dragons are in a similar position as the boys team where they have a solid amount of talent and depth on the roster. And we are sure that head coach Bob Bridges will have the girls ready for almost anything that comes their way. The ladies kicked off their season on the road against Lutheran Northwest, and it was a good one to start off the season. The Dragons got off to a hot start, taking the lead 16-4 at the end of the first quarter, and the ladies didn't let up. Junior Audrey Wishmeyer put in a three threes coming off the bench in the opening quarter. The Dragons would hold the lead going into the half 25-13, and it wasn't until the fourth when the Crusaders came back into the game and made it an interesting one for Lake Orion. The three-year varsity player Maddie Ebert and Kylie Heck were able to hold it down for Lake Orion and secure them the win 50 to 37. Ebert finished with 19 points on the night and Heck had 10. December 7th, the ladies would be on the road once again, this time facing off against the Troy Colts. This would once again be a tight game all the way through, but yet again, the Dragons would prevail and get the victory 40 to 35. On December 9th, the Dragons would take on Stony Creek for yet another away game. Stony Creek would prove to be a tough opponent as they are in the OAA red, while the Dragons are in the white, but the Dragons wouldn't give in that easy. Even though they gave a hard-fought game, the Dragons just didn't have enough on offense in this game and would fall to the Cougars 36-54. Finally, on December 14th, the Dragons would get a home game. They would face Birmingham Groves in this one and would look to continue their strong start to the season. This would be a slower-paced game for the team, but with Bob Bridges' defensive mindset, the Dragons like to get into these kind of games. So at the half, the Dragons would have a small lead of 14 to eight, but their defense looked good as the Dragons were able to force 14 turnovers off of Groves. They would just need to look to convert on those opportunities in the second half. In the third, the Dragons would make a little bit of a push and extend their lead up to nine, but Groves didn't let the Dragons get away so easily as they made a small run of their own in the middle of the third period, quarter. However, the Dragons had another small run to put them back up by nine at the end of the third. Then in the fourth, Lake Orion turned on the juice as they went on a bit of a scoring spree, putting themselves in prime position to secure the 36 to 26 win. As Kylie Heck led the team with 10 points on the night. Again, the Lake Orion defense really carried the team, causing a ton of turnovers and giving them plenty of scoring chances. A few days later on December 17th, the Lady Dragons would get another home game and this time against Royal Oak. The Dragons were able to cruise in this one from start to finish as they were able to stymie Royal Oak and hold them to only 20 points. Lake Orion would take the win 39 to 20. 
And then finally, on December 21st, the Dragons faced off against Rochester Adams, once again at home. The Dragons would once again be able to take care of business and get a much needed break as they head into 2022. The Lady Dragons have a 5-1 record so far and are looking like a tough opponent for almost anyone. Similar to the guys, it is still early in the season, so they need to still take everything game by game. But it will definitely feel good going into the new year with a good record. This team seems to keep getting better, and I have a feeling they can definitely make some noise in the white and be a scare for almost any team in the OAA going forward. Dragons Winter Sports have just begun, and these teams have had a promising start. Heading into 2022, the teams will try to rest up over the holiday break and then begin the new year looking towards making some playoff pushes and continuing a successful season. In the next episode, we will see just how their new years begin, and until then, have a happy holiday and new years. And of course, go Dragons! For past episodes of the Lake Orion Sports Update, head on over to orionontv.org and click the ONTV Demand link. There you will find all of ONTV's community programming, news, sports, concerts, and government meetings. You can also watch us on Roku, Amazon Fire, and Apple TV, all in HD. Just add the Cablecast channel to your lineup to enjoy local programming at its best. For even more Lake Orion Sports, check out our YouTube channel for our full game coverage. Visit youtube.com and search for Orion Neighborhood Television. Also, make sure to catch all of our replays Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays at 7 p.m., along with Saturdays at 1 p.m. We'll see you next time.